recognize my next guest. First and foremost, he's a native San Diegan. Second of all, he's been in hit films, including End of Watch and shows like Fear the Walking Dead and Sons of Anarchy. He's also about to be in a new Netflix series about Selena. First, let's welcome to the show actor and entrepreneur, and of course, San Diegan, David Fernandez Jr. David, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. You're, you're just like me and one of the few San Diego born and raised. I love it. I mean, hey, I'm staying in San Diego my whole life. I, why would you want to leave anywhere else, you know? This is true. <laughs> I don't care how famous you get. You know your roots are down here in San Diego, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, that's where my <laughs> home is. I want to talk about Selena here in just a moment, but you're a busy guy, David, and I know filming for a lot of these things has been placed on hold while we're working our way through this pandemic, but that did not stop you from launching your own app. Tell me about yes. this and, and how it's helping people. Yeah, the app is called Earn Your Life. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of reflecting during this quarantine and I was thinking, you know what, we're going through, collectively, we're going through tough times, uh, whether it's financially, emotionally, mentally, whatever the case may be. And so I wanted to do my part to be able to give back to, to the community and just, you know, remind them of who they are. And I feel we, are, we all represent love. And so I wanted to focus on positivity, love, uh, just creating your own reality type of thing. So I put together this app. It's It's got quotes, positive quotes, uh, short, positive, inspirational videos. It also has my Earn Your Life podcast where I've interviewed amazing guests from all over the world, like amazing guests. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to, you know, just share this positivity with the world. I feel that what we focus on will grow. So why not focus on positivity and growth um, so, you know, so that way we're in alignment with our natural selves, you know? I was watching another interview with you, David, and you really have a beautiful outlook on life, but it took you a while and it took you a significant trial to get to this point. Do you mind sharing with our viewers your story? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, I, I don't mind it at all. I feel I, I get a lot of this uh, sometimes, right? How can you be so positive all the time? And my answer to that is, I've been to the darkness many times, and so that's why I'm able to appreciate, you know, the 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 complete other side, right? Which is the light, or just uh, having that positive outlook on life, because life is so precious, it's so sacred. Like we're here now, we can be gone the next minute. We don't know, so why not live the life of our dreams? Why not make people laugh around you? Why not make those genuine connections from the heart? And I feel that's how I show up in the world. Is that if, if you know, for me, that's what's supported my life, supported me throughout all the, 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 the real tough times that I've been through. And, and to be very honest with you, I feel that those rough times were there for a reason. Uh, Any time that, you know, these experiences show up, right, is there, you know, it's, it's kind of waking us up if, if we're willing to wake up and reflect and look in the mirror and, and, and get the message from the so-called bad experience, uh, per se. And so that's kind of how I look at it. Any time that I go through any type of resistance, I, I, I sit back and reflect, and I'm like, okay, what is this teaching me? Because life is, uh, Tony Robbins says this, and I love it, life is always happening for us, not to us. And if we take that responsibility and, and that approach, it, it just makes it a lot easier when it comes to those tough times. Oh my gosh, I love what you're saying right now, and you're preaching to so many people who, you know, right now it's very easy to see the glass as half empty. Um, David, at one point in your life, at age 21, you went through the loss of a son, and you are yeah. you are still able to find a way to sort of pick yourself back up from that. Yeah, you know, it, it, especially during that stage in life, right? Being so young and, and losing my son, holding him literally dead in my hands, um, it changed me forever. And I know that when I say this, it can be very difficult for people to understand, but bear with me because I'll try to explain, right? Is that that was the most beautiful thing that could have ever happened in, in the sense of this. It changed my life. It woke me up. And that's why I have the, the approach that I have is because I realize how fragile life is. And so it makes me stay in gratitude every day, appreciate it every day. Is it easy? Absolutely not. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful because if we do look through the lenses of love and appreciation, then we'll create that reality for ourselves. And that's how powerful this is when it comes to following your heart and leading from your heart space is that you can't go wrong when you, when you follow your heart. 
You're amazing. You really are. Oh, and thanks. folks can find the app. It's uh, Earn Your Life is the name of the app for people. It's, you know, it's on Android. It's on the Apple App Store. It's free from what I understand. Yes. You just get a lot of positive inspiration right now. Speaking of positivity, your career continues to move in the right direction. You were busy filming for the Netflix series called Selena the Series. And obviously yes. things got put on hold, but tell me about your role in that. Yeah, so I, I play the personal bodyguard um, of Selena during that time. His name was David Kramer. And the beautiful experience that I'd love to share with all of you is that um, through my process as an actor, I ended up searching for him because I knew he was still alive. I found him on social media. We ended up connecting. What a beautiful soul. He was so open, so giving. He cares so much and loves Selena so much. And like the first day that we ever connected over the phone, we spent four hours on the phone. We cried together. He shared intimate moments with her, intimate moments that like no one really knows other than the people that lived it or experienced it during that time with Selena. And I just felt so blessed to be able to be a part, first of all, of like her legacy and to be able to be a part of telling uh, an in-depth uh, part of her life, you know what I'm saying? And so just to be a, a part of this project and to have experienced what I've experienced thus far has been a blessing and a half. And I can't wait for the audience to uh, to get a chance to, to finally see, uh, you know, the Selena TV series for Netflix. Yeah. David Fernandez Jr., <laughs> keep up the great work, stay smiling, because you know what? That's contagious. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Heather. All right, you take care of yourself.